Andrew Tate takes on, on real estate. Let's check this out, man. No, I think the thing is, Andrew, you are a straight talker, right? And that's one of the things I think so many people love about you. You say it absolutely as it is. And my fear is, if you say, real estate's dangerous, this is dangerous, that's it. People will not know what to do, and they'll end up doing nothing, leaving that's their true. money in the bank. That's so true. All help right. us out. Hey, yo, listen, my thoughts on real estate is, it's a good way to grow your money. But if you don't have no money, you shouldn't invest in real estate. You shouldn't. Be honest. Okay, that's true. Help us out. When I say real estate is dangerous, now, firstly, you can make money with real estate. You can make money with real estate. I'm not saying it's dangerous from that perspective. I'm talking about my own personal ideology. Yeah. My personal ideology is I don't want to be within control of a government. I don't want a government. And this is a good one right here. Listen, listen, listen. This is this is a fact. Listen, if guys and ladies, if you are in a relationship and say your boyfriend makes fifty thousand or forty thousand, you make fifty or forty thousand, and y'all live in an apartment, y'all can afford a duplex. Y'all could get an FHA loan and get a duplex. Y'all could get two FHA loans because y'all not married yet. So you could get a duplex or a triplex, and y'all make enough to where you could pay the rent. You could pay your rent, and you could get one, of, and you could. You can afford a duplex or triplex. You want a turnkey because you can't. You don't have that much money to put up front unless you're going to get a bigger loan. But you can afford. That's how you start your wealth together. Girls want to want want to build together. That's how you build together with your with your with your significant other. Yeah, both make control me. Yeah, both make fifty or forty thousand. That's eighty to a hundred thousand a year. Yeah, got it. That's almost. 10 to 8 grand a, a month. That's, that's enough right there. Even if you have if you have a children, you should do it much faster. Because you get one, you get another one, you get another one. Now you borrow the loan to get your yeah, yeah, the equity. You grab the equity from the part from the place and you buy another one. It's easy. If I didn't think that way, then I'd be a lot less opposed to real estate. I mean, a house is always gonna be worth something. It ain't gonna go to zero. You know, it's not like a risk, like a crypto yeah. uh, or a stock that can go to zero. A house will always be worth something and you can definitely make a lot of money in it. I'm just at the position where I just don't want to have a government to have control of me. And this recent war proved it. Look at all these billionaire Russians who fair and square bought property in London by the law, paid their price, paid the stamp duty, stuck to the rules. And I think they snatched it. It took the property back. That's true. That is crazy because the. The guys from London have nothing to do with the people, the, the government of Russia. Like, I mean, it, the guys that bought property in, from Russia have nothing to do with the war on Russia. They're not democratic. They're not, they're not government. They're not, that's, that is crazy. That's called, um, that's a scam. Like that's scam. The government's crazy, man. Then the president of their country did something who they may not even agree with it. Who do they know? Do you agree with everything the prime minister does now? No. The, neither do I. And then the British government came along and just took all their houses off. Here's my stance. If you have gold, silver, anything, especially money in the bank, yeah. it can, if you go down the extreme levels enough, it can get taken. Oh, well, that's true. Nothing nothing on this earth is freehold. Everything is leasehold. To a degree, there are certain things which can't be taken. Like, you won't give us one example, though, so it's hard to... There are, there are some things that can't be taken. Okay. But I think that property... Yeah is one of the hardest things for, them, for anybody to take. You can make a lot of, I make a lot of money in property without owning it as well. Chad, I don't know if you know about the IRS. The IRS is, this, is, is the most single, is the only people that could come in and take your shit without a warrant. They come up, freeze your bank accounts, take your assets, they're pulling couches out. They don't need a warrant to do that. They, they move on their own independently. They don't need a judge to sign off on it. They come in and just take what they want, stop, freeze shit, they do what they want. Yeah. By controlling it. Absolutely. And also being a property entrepreneur. I, I can't say you don't make money in real estate. And I'm also not saying I don't own any. You do own property. Of course I do. But I'm just saying that I don't feel comfortable. I don't go, ah, bought another house. Yes, you sleep easy. Some guys do. But I think when you truly I mean, understand. you know what I'm doing right now? Flipping land and all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, a few years ago, many people said to me, oh, real estate's risky. I've made millions in real estate. I bet you have. It's all I know. I bet you have. And through controlling <laughs> it, flipping it, yep. trading it, owning it. Completely. 
and my properties are a lot are in my personal name. I've yeah. got a lot in company as well now. Yeah. I think we're in a pretty safe position. Now, if it gets so bad that they take away everybody's property and the world has ended and there's this massive plague and everybody's dead, you know what? I lived a pretty good life. No, completely. And I understand a lot of people will see me as paranoid and that's fine. But um, I know you can make a whole bunch of money, but the last thing I, I'm currently in a situation where I don't need money. So I'm just trying to position myself in a way that I sleep the best as possible. Yeah. And I don't feel, I don't feel happy with money in the bank either. I don't. That's the worst. I don't, not because of even inflation. Like I, if I look, if I load up my bank balance and it's $87 million, if that doesn't make me feel comfortable. It makes me feel the opposite. Right. Well, Cause then the one day you click on the app, Sorry, contact customer service. You're like, you yeah. fuckers. Yeah. You fucking, like, that's it. they'll just do that shit to you. So it's like, I don't like money in my banks. I don't like money in a house. It's hard. I know it's hard. You're it's only difficult. insured up to the first 86,000 pounds. So if you've got a couple mail and then the bank goes bust, gone. I'll give away one of the things I like. Damn. Just one. So I like, I like per personally, I prefer the idea of digital real estate because digital real estate is not controlled by one government jurisdiction and it can be owned by some obscure entity. So let me give you an example. Let's say I were to buy www.money.com. Hey, yo, chat. Yeah, I think he's paranoid or he's just thinking advanced, like forward advanced. Because as I see, he already been canceled and they try to take everything and they try to stop. They, they cancel his bank just like they do on Kanye because you're talking out of turn. Yeah, I think he's paranoid or I think he's just being cautious. Put it in the comments, man. That's worth money. If I, I could put anything on there and generate money. So that's Buying websites. I'd pay a lot of money for it. Yeah. And let's say that was owned by a Singaporean trust. Boom. Yeah. I feel safer with that. Okay. Than a house. Okay. No, that's interesting. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Because now if anyone wants to find out who owns money.com, even though I just say here on this podcast, they're like, look it up. Da, da, da. Mm. Some Singaporean trust. Okay. Mm. Contact the Singapore authorities. Who owns this trust? We can't tell you. Court injunction, <laughs> da, 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 years and years and years and years. Yeah. It's, it's complicated. And I, I feel like I own it more. Right. Than that. So it's interesting. And I th oh, my attitude is you've got to invest in what you know. Yeah. If you've made a lot of money, you should invest in what you know. Oh, completely. I, I don't invest in certain stuff if I don't understand it. Completely. And even if people tell me, this is a great investment, this is a great coin, I'm thinking, I'm all, I'm all good, thanks. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I want to invest in what I understand. And if you understand. How many people here invest in crypto, invest in stocks? that pay dividends, um, don't have your money inside the bank. Put it in the comments, man. Put it, chat, let me hear it. Digital assets. Yeah. I mean, for me personally, I think owning a, a website or a link, for me, would feel more risky because yeah. I can just see any minute, bang, can't open it. I'd rather own land where even if there's a war and the house gets knocked down, I've yeah. still got the land. There's I understand. a shortage of land. I understand. You know. I understand. That, but, I, but, and there's so many ways to skin a cat. And yeah. that's what's so beautiful about making money, right? And yeah. I, I completely understand that. My my block is ideological. Not I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I know that a lot of money can be made. However, let me give a caveat to that. Oh, here we go. I do think that most of the ways money is made on the planet, nearly all of them yeah. are Ponzi schemes. I think stocks are a Ponzi scheme. And when I say Ponzi, I mean that if you're in early, you make a bunch of money. And if you're in late, you get wrecked. Mm. Money doesn't come from the thin air. Money doesn't come from the sky. You so take money. Crypto, right? A lot of people ask me. You take money. You don't make money. You're not the Federal Reserve. You take money off somebody else. You don't make money. Remember that. That's how money works. So when you think you want to make money, no. You're taking it from somebody else. About crypto. Hey, what do you think about this coin? What do you think about this coin? Most people don't understand that the crypto market is player versus player. And it's funny because these new crypto coins launch and they start these telegram groups, these communities. And all the people who have bought the coin are in this community and they're all like acting like they're friends. You're not friends. Yeah. If you bought it at a dollar and you want to sell it at a profit of $10, someone has to buy it off you. So you're, you, you, it's not, it doesn't just come from the sky. You're selling it for more than you bought it for, right? So a bunch of people get in, money comes in, price goes up and up and up and up and up and up. There's always going to be a guy who bought the top Yeah. and it never goes up anymore yeah. and he gets screwed. There's X amount of people at the top who get wrecked so the people at the bottom can make money. Yeah. It's a Ponzi. Every crypto is a Ponzi. All of them. I could go get 100. No, nah, that's not true. That's not true. Because people that invested in Bitcoin in 2009, today, I, yeah, I can see through my, my, my crypto um, stream, they're millionaires and billionaires. You bought a dollar of crypto back in 2009 when it was, I think it was three cents. It'd be a multi hundreds of millions.
today. So all you got to do is hold it. You only lose when you sell it. That's the fact. $100 million right now. Go to England, walk around, and make a bunch of money in real estate. Because I got liquid cash. And I, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I've got all the time in the world. It might take me nine years. That'll go up. Yeah. That'll go up. That'll go up. I could do it. But there's also Bob and Sally working their ass off, 22 year mortgage, 10% interest rate. <laughs> when we own our home, Sally, oh, then, yeah. then we'll be okay. Don't get me wrong. I <laughs> think that property um, is something that can be bad. I think that buying your own home, I mean, I think that the help to buy scheme is a scam because the help, I'm a developer. Okay. So I build houses. Yep. And the help to buy scheme is not help to buy, it's help to sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because basically the people that are getting bought into the help to buy, the government are loaning them the money, they have to pay it back. Yeah. It's only applicable to a new bill. Yeah. It's only applicable if you live in it. Yeah. So the it's, it's really to encourage the developers to, to, buy to build yeah, and got... flog off their stock at an expensive price. Yeah, yeah. And then the people that are buying it, the second that they buy it, it drops in value, it's a new build. 100%. They've got to live in it. They're in negative equity. They're, they're, they're finished. Yep. So the help to buy scheme, I guess, is a way of investing in property. Or not even investing, a way of buying property. I don't think you should do that. I think that before you buy your own home to live in, I do own my own home. Yep. But I only bought it last year yep. after making millions. Yep. So I think before you buy your own home, if you're ever going to, Become a millionaire first. Oh, no, completely. And there's, there's so much to say for renting because when you rent, you have flexibility. Yeah, true. I think that flexibility, if we're talking about the attention economy and we're now living in a world where things are changing so rapidly, think of how different the world was 10 years ago. Yeah. I, I'm not, 10 years ago, we had Motorola razors, couldn't even do a video on our phones. Now we, now we can film yeah. Hollywood movies. Yeah. Like it's crazy how fast the world's changing. If you're going to say for 22 years, I'm going to live at this address, you're a dummy. Yeah, that's how I feel. Especially even... If I was to get rich, man, I don't think I would personally own my house. I probably own it through the company that I own, and then when I move out, I rent it out or sell it or whatever. But I want to, I want to own it. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not being held to one location for the rest of my life for years and years. That no, no. People get tired of this. People get tired of cars. People get tired of other people. I'm not supposed to sign my to stay here for the rest of my life. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, boy. You own it to your company. You can rent it to somebody when you decide to move out. And you can actually own it to your company and rent it to you. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. I don't, I know many people don't know that, but. Because you might get an opportunity in Japan. Who knows, right? Yeah. You're a dummy to do that. So I agree. I, I own the house I live in. No, sorry, I don't. An entity in the company, blah, blah, owns the house I live in. Uh, that was a cash. And that's only because I wanted it the way I wanted it. I want to renovate all this. I want bulletproof glass. Okay, just buy it. Yeah. That, that's why I did it. But in general, yeah. I don't know if y'all seen his house. Go check out his house, man. His house, he has like these these big walls. It was actually on the first video, on the video before this when he was showing his car. He has big walls up. Place. That's, that's your dope. Like, that's your dope to me. Got the gate. Yeah, you should. you should... Uh, renting allows you flexibility yeah and flexibility is very important in the modern world to get rich to get rich you might need to have to go here or go yeah, there exactly. you might need a month over there you might want to go do yeah. something in ireland for two months at a, and the, and then also another thing about renting especially in the western economy i know i shouldn't say this and it's probably piss off your guys but it's true there's really very little downside to renting because even if you don't pay your rent they can't make you leave <laughs> like it's fucking clown world over here like oh you're, you're renting us three months you don't even pay your rent and you're still fucking sleeping fine yeah so the whole thing is like rent rent is fantastic i, I would only recommend renting unless you get to the point like you we have so much money that's, you why, just use that, buy that's why our tenants are guests not tenants good i like that so they don't have the same um, yeah. well i live in romania so we have a, my, my tenants because i do have tenants we have a slightly different system in romania <laughs> we're an hour late bro people are pack or pay but um you know what though the, 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 they make it really strict to try and help the tenants but what actually happens is the landlord the landlord gets strict and they 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 listen they give you all the, the this list of things no um no convictions credit score got to be a 710 um three three months um three months um rent and moving moving you could get a house for that seven seven is some change if you get the record they don't even the, the bank don't even care about the record seven ten change in a couple thousand you could get your own place for that you could own your own house for that and the people that do that will have them just rent it this should be open forever because i know i ain't
Listen, man. If you're a landlord, you do that, you're wrong. You're wrong. Got these high standards for these people that just can only afford to just just barely live. The economy's fucked right now. It's fucked. It's wrecked. Really, no, no, no. The landlords become really strict with the vetting process. Yeah, yeah of course. Ask for big deposits. Yeah. My sister's trying to rent somewhere. She's a single mom. And the letting agent said, we don't rent to single moms. Yeah. Right? So what's happening is it's actually hurting the tenants. Of course, yeah. So it's all the all the things that the government do to try and help the poor often end up hurting the poor. What, did we, the what did we say earlier about, about trying to give money out? The government the government is not capable of helping the poor. And this is why it's so important as a person, you take personal responsibility and understand you're living in a world where the matrix can be cracked. You can make a bunch of money, mm. but you need to take responsibility and do it. And they close your bank and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They close bank accounts, Crazy. payment processing. They, it's, yeah, that's what I mean. Own the money, right? Yeah. Your, your, your bank account. But they didn't take your properties off you. Well, they can't. Yes, exactly. But, but that's because of how I've set things up. Right. So you need to be smart in how you do it. Yeah. Do it through a company. Well, that's right. But I also think that Joe Schmo, who's just starting off buying his house, doesn't do it smart. Absolutely. You know what, though? In the UK, they're devastating landlords. The taxes, everything. They're killing landlords. Yeah. But the rich corporations that are investing in property, the way they're doing it, it's very profitable. Completely. It's so like the small guy needs to learn how the big guy's doing it and duplicate it. Controversial influence. Chat, how you feel about that, man? He be dropping them jewels, though. I ain't even gonna lie. He be dropping them jewels. 